just some distilled water. This is a little bit of an equilibri e equilibrium demonstration. And we add to the distilled water a magnet. We turn on the stir bar. And we get the solution. Well, we get the water spinning. It's not quite a solution yet. You get it spinning up to speed pretty good here. We've got some two molar hydrochloric. We've got some mag milk of magnesia. And we've also got what's known as universal indicator. I'm going to edit in a uh, image of what uh, universal indicator looks like at different pHs. Basically, though, universal indicator is a combination of three different indicators, chemical indicators, that change color based on pH. Uh, a green pH, I'm sorry, a green color indicates a neutral pH. Um, it can go from, uh, basically it goes, uh, it goes, it spans the color of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Uh, red being the most acidic, a pH of 1, and violet, purple, uh, being a pH of 14. What we're going to add right now is magnesium hydroxide, milk of magnesia. Um, and uh, as we know, magnesium hydroxide is a base because it has hydroxide ions in it. So the very first thing that we're going to notice here is that this is going to change colors from blue into purple as the hydroxide ions are disassociated um, and dissolve, uh, as they dissolve and disassociate into solution. So they don't actually do anything to the indicator until they disassociate. Um, what we can do from here is, uh, you notice the pH of 14 gives you that purple color. We can change the pH of the universal indicator now by just adding a few drops of hydrochloric. We get a nice pink color, and that will change. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so what's going on here before I do it again? Uh, as I add the hydrochloric acid, what I'm doing is I'm adding hydrogen ions. Hydrogen ions will turn universal, indica uh, universal indicator into a red color because it's pH 1. What's going on is the magnesium hydroxide uh, doesn't fully dissolve. The whole reason why this is cloudy and you can't see my fingers behind the beaker is because um, the magnesium hydroxide hasn't dissolved and it's still in solution. I'm sorry, it's still not in solution and it's this milky color because of that. So you got the solid magnesium hydroxide stirring around in this uh, suspension of magnesium hydroxide. It's not really a solution because it hasn't dissolved all the way. So when I initially add hydrochloric acid like this, it initially overwhelms the, hydrogen, uh, the hydroxide ions that are in solution and the hydrogen ions are the only thing left. Well, they take over, the universal indicator turns pink. As time progresses here, and it happens fairly quickly, only a, a 10 seconds or so it looked like, um, the milk of magnesia, the magnesium hydroxide, dissolves and disassociates even more. So the hydroxide gets into solution, it reacts with the hydrogen ions, hydrogen plus hydroxide gives you water, and the hydroxide ions then take over because there's more hydroxide being dissolved and disassociated. Now this happens so quickly that it's almost impossible to see it happen at this speed. So we can use the fact that we know how to uh, change the rate of a reaction, such as uh, dropping a few ice cubes in. We can cool a reaction down, that's going to slow it down. It will also actually slow the dissolution, that it will slow the dissolving of milk of magnesia. So we'll give that a moment to get cold. It's chilling out. Maybe give it a few more. And we'll go ahead and we'll drop it a little bit more. A lot more acid. There we go. We get that nice red, pinkish red color. 
And now that's going to slow the reaction down a lot. The hydroxide ions are all being shoot up by the acid. Oop, the acid, the hydroxide ions now are dissolving and disassociating. You can see it takes a little bit of time to get back to purple. Uh, that's because when it gets cold like this, it takes a long time for the hydroxide, the magnesium hydroxide, to dissolve, which means it's going to take that much longer to disassociate. Now, can I make this go faster? Sure, I can turn on the heat, and it should start going a little bit faster.